Hello and um, welcome uh, back to my XCOM Superhuman Let's Play to the second recovering season where we will proceed with the game. Um, uh, actually, um, I want to mention something that I have um, activated um, one patch from XCOM Util, um, which upgrades uh, one weapon which we have already researched. Um, it's a weapon which is um, usually in the game not widely used. It's uh, the heavy laser. I mainly took this uh, patch from XCOM Util because it in increases the uh, accuracy with uh, snapshots on the heavy laser, which is usually too low for a weapon which has no auto fire and is usually only used on big distances. Unfortunately, this also this patch also increases the firing, uh, the damage output of this weapon from. 58 to 120 as you can see. I'm not really sure if I will use this weapon maybe later in the game for um, especially against uh, sector boards or something like that. Maybe. Or as a sniper weapon only. Uh, especially in combination with flying suits but there are better but mm. things to use uh, like heavy plasmas or something like that. But against Cyclobots, um, maybe it will be proved to be of use. I'm not really sure. We'll see. Um, actually, I'm also not really sure if um, I've set my research. Right, because I was um, going for very early laser kind of research here, um, which might screw me a little bit over because um, I want to have um, some protection on my soldiers, so this means some armor research. I hope this, this research will finish soon, maybe in the next few days. So that I can then focus on alien alloys um, and uh, personal armor, which I'm not really sure if I will use it because I will m more likely skip directly for power suits, which is only research of Illyrium, and power source, uh, the UFO power source, and of course the research project itself. So maybe I will do that directly. Um, other research project resources are not yet visible, which I will also do, um, which I will prioritize after I have some protection on my soldiers, of course, uh, will be the hyperwave core. We have, um, in the last season, I've already captured a life sector navigator, and I've put him here already on the research project list, so can then start and go on with the project as soon as, as I have some protection on my soldiers. Um, I've already been linked to more uh, workshops, so the production of uh, the armor should be going quite effectively if I am able to get enough money, which implies a lot of missions. And oh, that, that, that's quite nice. I will have uh, some radar coverage over Asia soon, very soon, uh, on the next day in the game. Um, and there's one point I'm, I have not really decided about at the moment is uh, if I should build an, 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 uh, a large radar outpost and. In uh, Asia and uh, uh, the, the Asia base and uh, North America base. It would really be nice, but uh, the costs are quite high, so I'm not really sure. Maybe if I, if I get some additional funds, uh, funds, because uh, at the end of the month I will have a, a lot of workshops to fill up and to 
reduce laser cannons. So, hmm. And also the double of decoder research, even even if I can round up uh, 100 scientists and um, let's say at the middle of um, March. Um, will take quite a fair amount of time, so maybe building radar outposts? And maybe upgrading these radar outposts wouldn't be a that bad idea. And also, I really want to apologize that I had um, with the first terror mission that I reloaded it so many times, at least at the beginning of the mission. But it's just that I really didn't want it to, to lose um, my soldiers, which are uh, quite. which have a quite nice uh, uh, stats so far. And um, this is a, a really good team which I have here uh, assembled so far. Okay, there are some people which are not so decent and will probably be replaced later. Oh really, I have a, a cannon for over here. Hmm, okay, good to know. At least one, <laughs> one dude which can uh, scout ahead. Is there a second one already? Okay, well, but it's uh, actually one. So, um, that's okay. Oh, really? Hmm, 12 more days for him. Okay, we can live with that. This is, uh, this, this is a really good soldier here. He has a good strength stat, high firing accuracy, um, very good reactions, and um, medical bravery. The rest of the stats will um, improve over time. It's just when you have uh, soldiers like um, him here, he's unfortunately he is um, uh, my highest ranking officer at the moment also, and he has good stats and um, he's on the front of the Sky Ranger. Losing him against a ridiculously placed Sabotask? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you can be with that and um, we'll now proceed with the game. Now let me just quickly take, check the time. Okay. Let's see what will go. <laughs> and we have an next UFO, of course. A small UFO. It's <laughs> driving towards the USA. <laughs> Okay. This is actually interesting. Um, let's make a quick save game here. And um, let's follow it. Obviously, we will use uh, radar coverage around here or so. Yeah, of course. We will send them there anyway. Interceptor, you need to find the UFO and see where it is. Uh, of course, he has no more type stuff. <laughs> Fuel, I mean. Sorry. We can use the Sky Ranger to fly like this. Just see if we can spot it, and another interceptor will just move here and see if he can spot it somewhere there. No, of course. Maybe it's. It's already gone. It was just um, flying home from a mission or so. Could be the case. Or this already is actually operating in North America. Hmm. There's 
also some more activity climbing up. Over the Pacific, okay. I guess this was only an overflight in the Pacific. And overall, of course. Hmm. So maybe. <laughs> yeah, fly home. So I guess some. Um, he's not really here. We will have radar, radar coverage over the US in a few days, so. We can detect um, UFOs which are moving around there. <laughs> ah, really? <laughs> I found it. That's quite nice. So maybe we're lucky and can actually um, engage it. It should be like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I really would like to have an interceptor and shoot this one down because... Oh, okay. So it's still daytime? Yeah. And of course we have to replace our equipment. Because I um, did some really doing and testing with another game. Uh, and uh, we also have a, a lot of new squad members, I guess. <sighs> You're giving a weak guy a rocket launcher by default? Uh, no. And that's definitely not going to work out. <laughs> Destined to have a rocket launcher and who not. Okay, so he's going to get uh, some stun rod and also you have to be here with me. And there's some car alarm going off on the street. Nice. Yeah, I guess I have to give him the second rocket launcher at the moment. Oh well. Then shall we so? For the time being. For the time being. Okay, you get the rifle. And uh, he has this, this missing grenade. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Fox. You have to be with me for a moment to sort this quickly. Here we go. And there's one dude missing a grenade. So we were actually able to capture this UFO when it has landed. It's quite nice. Um, did I use the assessment? I guess I did. Um, this is desert terrain, which is... I actually prefer it because it is very open, no buildings, and... Just get straight lines of sight and everything. Like here, oh, hmm. that's floaters. No, well, that's not that bad. If they start um, operating here, I 
in the um, US. And I guess it's also only a small scout, so we really do not have to be in, in that much of trouble. And there will be quite a few ones inside of it. Well, it also depends on the mission type, and oh, I don't like that. Hmm. I guess I really have to get a smoke grenade out there. Next turn. Anyway. Where's the cannon fodder? Well, I had one dude which was destined to die sometime soon. Uh, yeah, it was him, okay. And, um, okay, you're usable to some degree. The problem with open terrain is that you usually don't have much cover and your soldiers tend to die away quickly, but so far we are. Mm, there isn't much opposition so far. Maybe in these small valleys here, behind these dunes, we will m most likely be finding some enemies. Um, let's deploy the smoke. Um. With the current state of my team so far, I guess I will most likely be going for some reaction shootout here when with this UFO. Hopefully everything will go well, I'm not sure if so. Or I can get extremely lucky when storming it, but I'm not really sure if I actually want to do that. Um, you will try to secure the door of the UFO. Actually, a live one could not be hurting that much. And if I'm really unlucky, I will have all the floaters except the one we... Oh no, actually not. Here's one floater carrying a plasma rifle. We will shoot him. Or try to shoot him. Let's say it like this. She did I actually managed to actually manage to hit him at least once, which is uh, nice. Hmm, and he's stunned. Okay, so we oh. Hmm. Yeah, as I said there will be enemies here. And the question is if we can shoot them. That's cool. Hmm, but actually not with that accuracy. Hmm, okay, he did hit him. Which is also quite nice. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, okay, that's not going to work out for him. Well, maybe for him, maybe he can uh, actually get the kill on this one. Hmm, he was a dangerous one with a heavy plasma. And this guy here is still alive. Hmm. 